So this is my fourth video in my series on helping your team complete their sprint plan. If you missed out on any of the previous videos, don't worry, you'll find links to them in the description below. So in the last video, I mentioned one of the key reasons that teams don't complete their sprint plan is due to poor product backlog refinement. And when product backlog refinement isn't done well, it results in product backlog items that are either too large, not well understood, or not sufficiently detailed. And this is what leads teams to not finishing off their sprint plan. So in this video, let's take it a step further and look at how we can improve our product backlog refinement process through using what is called a definition of ready. Let's begin by first understanding what a definition of ready is. So what is the definition of ready? Well, the first thing that you should know is that it is not part of course scrum. You'll notice that there is no mention of a definition of ready in the scrum guide and it is completely optional. The other thing is to not confuse it with the definition of done. That is part of course scrum. You will see it inside the scrum guide and it is not optional. So what's the difference? Well, the way I like to describe it is these two artifacts, the definition of done and definition of ready, they sit on either side of our sprint cycle. So what the definition of done is, is it's actually specifying the exit criteria of our sprint cycles. It is specifying the quality that needs to be met for something to be done, to exit our sprint cycle. Now, on the other hand, the definition of ready is specifying the entry criteria. It's the quality constraints for what can enter our sprint cycle. Now, what enters our sprint cycle? It's our product backlog items. Now, both the definition of done and the definition of ready are checklists. So when you think about the definition of ready, what might be some examples on this checklist? Well, I like to have teams add a clearly defined acceptance criteria. So they've got some acceptance criteria with their user stories. The work has been estimated, maybe in story points. Perhaps it's been socialized with certain stakeholders. I also like to see perhaps additional documentation added to the product backlog item, whatever's necessary. And another one that I like to get teams to think about is other people who might need to be involved in reviewing the requirement, reviewing the product backlog item. So for example, I have a team where they often get their solution architect to have a look at what they're doing and to consider the dependencies and the technologies that they're using. So on their definition of ready, they have an item. The solution architect has had a chance to review what they're doing, or they've taken the solution architect through it. So the definition of ready, what it does is it helps the team think, what is the criteria that needs to be met for a product backlog item to be brought into a sprint and then work begun? All right, so now that you know what a definition of ready is, let's have a look at how we can implement it using JIRA. All right, so how do you apply and implement the definition of ready in JIRA? I'm just gonna give you some quick options now, but if you want more in-depth videos on it, just let me know in the comments below. So the first option is to use subtasks. We can use subtasks to represent the various criteria on our definition of ready, and our team just uses those subtasks a little bit like a to-do list, okay? They get the subtasks done, they've completed that point of criteria. Second option is to create a custom control. You can create custom controls in JIRA where it's a bit like a checklist and you can just check off the criteria. And once it's been completely checked off, we know that the product backlog item is sprint ready. Third option is you can use a Kanban board. And with the Kanban boards in JIRA, we can use the columns to specify the different criteria that needs to be met. So once an item meets the definition of ready, as in all the criteria has been met, we typically say the product backlog item is sprint ready. Or in other words, it's ready to be brought to the next sprint planning session and then delivered inside a sprint cycle. 
So the last thing we want to do is have a way to indicate an item as sprint ready in JIRA. Now in a previous video, which I'll put up on the screen and also in the description below, I gave five different ways that you can indicate an item as sprint ready. But instead of just giving you all those again, I'm just going to mention the one that is most popular and I typically use as well. What you'll find is that the sprint in JIRA is a great way to indicate items as sprint ready. So all you need to do is you just create a sprint and you label that sprint sprint ready items. And when they're sprint ready, what do you do? You just drag them into that sprint. And what happens here is that you can see the upcoming product backlog items that have been adequately refined. They're ready to be brought into the next sprint planning session. And what do you do? Well, you create another sprint for that upcoming sprint cycle and you just drag those items into that sprint. Now, the only problem with this is that you lose the priorities because some items might be of a higher priority, but they haven't been refined and they're still sitting in the product backlog below. Okay, let me give you some final tips when it comes to the definition of ready. All right, some final tips here. So in the previous video, I mentioned that I like teams to stay one to two sprints ahead with sprint ready product backlog items. So if you've got a definition of ready, what we want is for the next one to two sprints worth of product backlog items to meet this definition of ready. And then we want the team to stay ahead. That way you'll always have these well-defined, well understood and appropriately sized product backlog items brought into your sprint planning session. Now, a couple of other tips that I just want to quickly give you. Firstly, don't be overly ambitious with the definition of ready. You'll need to talk to your team and be careful with it. Having no definition of ready can be a problem where, again, we don't gather enough information with our product backlog items, but also we can go the other way. We can gather too much information and have too many things on the definition of ready, and then it just becomes a bottleneck and slows the team down. So don't be overly ambitious, or you need to coach your team on not being overly ambitious and the product owner. The other thing is to not be so strict with the definition of ready. Don't treat it like a stage gate or this strict criteria that must be met before the team can actually work on it or bring it to a sprint planning session. Look at it as just guidance and look, if the team doesn't get all the criteria done, that's okay. You might still be able to start working on it. Just try to avoid that scenario where possible. Or maybe, again, if it's not possible to get all the criteria, you might need to relax the definition of ready. But Main message here is to not treat it like a, again, a stage gate and be really strict with those items being brought into your upcoming sprint cycle. So there you have it. That's how you can improve your product backlog refinement process through using a definition of ready. Now in the next video, we're going to move away from product backlog refinement and start talking about sprint planning. So you might have a team that has a very well refined product backlog yet they are still not achieving their sprint plan. So the next thing that we need to look at is how are they actually planning out the sprint? So don't miss it. I'll have that new video in the weeks to come. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and you'll be notified when it comes out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.